One of the best things that has come from the Cataclysm event has been the fact that Bioware is actually listening to our feedback, and they've demonstrated that by giving us cosmetics that can be earned outside of the featured store. Though the absolute peak of the new stuff that has come from the Cataclysm in terms of the cosmetics hasn't been the crystal armor in my opinion, nor the wraps, nor the new materials, which admittedly the golf ball material is pretty cool. But no, the absolute best thing that has come from the Cataclysm in terms of cosmetics has been been the Gravit Ears, and in today's video, we will be showing you how to get these ears. Now before we do this, I do want to give a major spoiler warning. This video is major spoiler territory as I will be showing you how to get the Gravit Ears. Though I do also have another disclaimer. You can get them any time during the Cataclysm, and were I you, if you want to truly enjoy and really have an impact from these ears, I would recommend you waiting to watch this video until the very end of the Cataclysm and try and figure out how to get them for yourself. I'll even give you two quick tips, and this is where spoiler turf comes into effect. A, it has something to do with something under the water, and B, it has something to do with the giant cypher statues along the new Fortress of Dawn. It's that giant castle along the beach. Hopefully, that's enough of a hint for you guys to go and do that, but hey, if it's not, then let's go on ahead and show you how to get your beautiful Gravit King ears. It is pretty simple, but there are some steps I would recommend you guys doing before you go after the ears. The first being to complete all the Cataclysm arenas before you head off to go and complete the puzzle. This is primarily because after completing each arena, you will have 30 seconds of additional stability that you can survive out in the storm. For the first week, it'll be 2 minutes of survivability, for the week after that, it'll be 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and so on and so on until you have a pretty decent stability bar where you won't have to go and find a pocket of stable reality or pick up an orb in order to recover your stability. But whatever. After you complete the arenas, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go along the beach, towards the castle of the new Fortress of Dawn. If you open your map, it'll be towards the northwest region of the Cataclysm. As you fly along the edge of the beach, you will notice a crystal poking up out of the ground near the shore. Think of this as your landmark for the Gravit King. What you will do is if you are facing the crystal and the castle is behind your back, you will take a dive under the water towards the right side of the crystal. You'll notice that most of the water is shallow near it, except for a dark patch of water. Dive underneath there and swim down. Closer towards the castle side, you will find a smoking generator. All you need to do is flip that generator on and that starts the puzzle. From there, fly out of the water and go and make your way towards the castle. Now you will notice that your stability meter probably has taken a decent hit flying from the last arena to this, so the best course of action is to go and fly up and get your stability back. Though if you do have enough stability, I would recommend you going and standing on one of the pads. Now as I mentioned before, there are two components to this. The generator, and the cypher statues that look kind of like Faye. The first one will be located inside of one of the couplers. Simply stand on the pad for less than half a nanosecond until it turns green, a green triangle will appear, and a laser beam will emit from the cypher's crystal into the crystal near the gravit generator. From there, again, I would recommend you flying up and getting your stability back. From there, simply fly down to the next cypher statue, closer towards the left if you are facing the castle, and stand on that pad. Pretty simple, right? Well, the last of the three pressure plates is guarded by a giant boulder. In order to break that crystal, you will need to find a bomb. Thankfully, there is a crystal towards the right side of the castle, inside of what I like to call one of the awning rooms. All you need to do is pick up the bomb and fall down. Now, there are two things that you need to be majorly aware of. First up, if you are struck by lightning, the bomb will deactivate and you've basically failed the Gravit King puzzle. What's preventing you from going and finding another bomb somewhere else on the map is the bombs are on a timer, and you pretty much need to use the one that is inside the awning. Number two is kind of a bug that was on the PTS, and once again this is PTS footage, and they could have fixed this bug, or maybe it's not a bug at all. Anyways, as you are falling down, be sure to hover before you hit the ground. If you fall too hard, the bomb will deactivate and you've lost that bomb. And once again, you failed the Gravit King puzzle. Though if you hover, and you make it inside the little area, simply open up your communications wheel, and drop the bomb inside. Make sure to get a fair distance back, and once the bomb explodes, go and stand on the pad. Probably by the time that you have done this, your stability bar is low, so go on ahead and fly back up to the very top of the castle, recharge in that pocket of stable reality, and you can finally go and defeat the Gravit King and his court. 
From that pocket of stable reality, all you have to do now is fly underneath the water and go kind of towards the ocean. You will notice three glowing green triangles and a teleportation pad. Simply go inside the teleportation pad and you will find a swarm of grabbits in the hidden grabbit layer. Though there are several things that you do need to keep in mind. First and foremost, you have to kill all the Grabbits before they escape. If you don't kill them all before they escape, you have failed the Grabbit King puzzle and you won't get your ears. I recommend weapons or abilities that have a lot of AoE, such as the Colossus Flamethrower or Jar's Wrath or pretty much any weapon that has some kind of channeling. Luckily, if you even tap on the Grabbits, they die, though you do have to kill them within a certain time period and before they all escape. How you will know that you have killed them all is pretty simple. At the back of the room, you will notice a green rune on the floor. If you kill them all, it will rise up and pop open with a huge amount of golden orbs spewing from it. If you've done that, then that means you have completed the Gravit King puzzle and you've earned your ears. Though there is one more thing with the Gravit King room, and it is kind of small, but hey, points are points. Fly up to the very top and stand on the pressure plate, which will then activate the orb within the offertory bowl of the Cypher statue. Go claim that, and there you have it. You finally have your beautiful Grabbit King ears that you can proudly display to all of your friends. Something to keep in mind though is the Grabbit King ears are bound to the default helmet. It will not replace your default helmet, but if you go into the forge you will notice that you have a new default helmet with Grabbit King ears on them. You can't apply the Gravit King ears to any other Javelin helmet, which kind of sucks, but I get it at the end of the day. I'm just insanely grateful that Bioware has given us this cool easter egg, no puns intended, and it really shows what they can do going forward in the future. But what do you think of the Gravit King ears? Did this guide help you out? If it did, it would really mean a lot to me if you would leave a like, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this on the Cataclysm, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to your anthem for all of your Cataclysm needs. And lastly, a very special thank you to my patrons and channel members for your very generous donations and support of your anthem. It has meant the world to me that you guys have stuck by me through thick and thin. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day as always, and remember, you are Gravit alone, but you are Gravit together.